all right guys we just figured out what the next event is gonna be in this season of fortnite so make sure to slap the like button so what's going on guys welcome back to another fortnite video today i have something very special guys so there has been some big leaks and theories about season 8 and the ending of season 7 and what the next event is going to be but i feel like we finally have a real theory that will actually happen and i wanted to do this video on it guys because it's so exciting but basically what is going to be happening over the next few months in fortnite probably the next two months until the end of season 7 is that we are going to be having a flood happening on the entire fortnite map and basically the iceberg is going to be melting and there is so much evidence and proof so make sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you're new and watch the video until the end so you can get all the proof and you can be 100 sure and let me know in the comments if you are 100% sure that this is indeed going to be the next big event in Fortnite. So first off we have this Fortnite Reddit post and this is somebody who gathered so much evidence so it's kind of crazy. His name is Sneaky Paragon on Reddit but anyway so this is his post and it says there have been a lot of theories about ice on the island melting which it is already melting. I have video on this and causing some sort of flooding on Fortnite Battle Royale map. This small guide is just a chain of events that might lead to confirmation on that theory and what might be in store during season 7 and or the season 8 beginning of Fortnite. So what we have here guys is first off we're starting with these two pictures and this confirms that there has been some stuff melting and I don't know why Epic did it so fast but basically at first guys if you missed the first week of the new season season 7 you can see on the left there was an entire iceberg that was not melted, the castle was under the ice and there was no infinity blade. And then the next week they decided to do this big event where they added the infinity blade into the game and part of this big mountain or iceberg actually melted. And there hasn't been any water going out of it so they just kind of removed the layer of the snow. We had a leak in the game files guys which showed that the iceberg was made out on three stages so three stages of melting but it is gonna accelerate soon and it's gonna start melting. They kind of just melted it right after the season started which was kind of unexpected but anyways so let's keep moving because there is so much proof and so much interesting stuff about this that shows that there is gonna be indeed a flute coming to Fortnite. Just a quick reminder that as you guys know if you go on the battle pass in Fortnite, the later tiers usually hint stuff. So last season we had some Kevin the Cube and zombie related save the world stuff inside of the emblems for the season towards the end of the season. So this thing is happening again guys and they did notice that on Reddit. Over here we have some proof guys. We have a melting snowman and this might be a random one. But then we have the fishes going for the little bait. Dude, this might be us right now, just going, getting clickbaited by Fortnite. And then we have an entire underwater fishing tank. We have a little octopus and the sun. So basically a lot of these are hinting towards melting. And if you go on the Fortnite game right now and you go to Battle Pass, you can see that towards the end, you usually get the hint. So what do we have towards the end? We have a summer picture of Dusty Devil. So they, Dusty Depot actually. So they might actually reverse the entire map. I don't even know. That's going to be crazy. We have an icy dog, which is fine. They, they usually do keep the team until the end, but we're getting a lot of thematic stuff. This one is kind of crazy. Anyways, if you just keep going back, we have the octopus profile banner, which to be honest, I mean this, I mean this definitely hints towards melting. We have the fish graffiti baited, leave your mark. So, I mean, I guess that one could be a joke, but the fishes are orange or brown with little blue accent, which is kind of hinting towards melting and stuff. Here, 62, we have the little sun and the snowman melting. So, these are indeed in the game. You are going to be unlocking this. And to be honest, if you look at the rest of the pictures, there isn't anything else that's hinting the, an event or anything possible that I could think of. So what I'm thinking is that they're actually going to be melting the entire Fortnite map. And those are the hints that we get. And again, guys, if you remember last seasons, we would always get hints into the battle pass. And towards the end, we would get like little stuff like sprays and icons. And at first, nobody thinks about it. But just thinking about this now, there is definitely going to be a melting event. Maybe the entire map will be submerged underwater. So we're going to have like an underwater map or something. There is going to be a huge flood coming to Fortnite. Epic Games on Twitter have always been saying that they're gonna be doing so many new events so that's definitely gonna be coming out for sure but anyways guys there is another thing there is a sun clock and another emphasis we see placed on the sun or heat this season is the inclusion of this giant sundial near fatal field so basically near paradise palms as well this could be seen as a countdown towards something important a large in-game event and this clock is already moving by the way and one more thing guys that they forgot into this reddit post and in my opinion is pretty important is that if you look to the right side of this clock 
or really close to the clock. That is the same place that Kevin was created, Kevin the Cube. And by the end of this season, we also have some Kevin the Cube themed items. Over here on tier 37, we have the Kevin the Cube trail. So when you're dropping, you can have this trail with you. It's kind of crazy. It looks really cool, but it has the symbols and everything Kevin relates. So Kevin might be coming back and this clock might be doing the countdown towards Kevin coming back. I wouldn't be surprised if they bring back Kevin because it was really visually pleasing. Just seeing a cube doing stuff in the game. There would be always something to see. You would see it from far away, further distances while dropping. So having this cube was actually a genius idea. So they might actually bring it back. As you can see, the cube spawn point is really close towards the clock. So they might be somewhat related. Maybe time's gonna be up. Kevin's gonna come back. Maybe they're gonna revert them up. We don't know yet, but there is definitely gonna be a big event. And I think this event is gonna be the flood, which is gonna flood the entire Fortnite map. And we're gonna have an underwater event or something. They've also brought back skins in the beginning of the season that were water themed, like the Leviathan and stuff. So that was kind of cool. And they kind of been hinting at something related to swimming. I was like, why are these summer skins in the game? But instead they're not even summer skins that were actually related to swimming. Anyways though, there is another thing and this might be a little bit too far off. But if you guys been following this entire story, you would know that Epic Games are making the Epic Launcher kind of like Steam. They're adding more games to it. And Subnautica, which is a really cool game, it's kind of like with crafting and stuff, but you go underwater in this game. And this game, they actually paid out the creators to make it free on the Epic Games Store. So you could get it for free for like a limited time. But this is a game where you swim underwater. And that was also with the launch of Season 7, they announced the Epic Games Store. This could be related for sure, because we're getting melting, we're getting swimming underwater and stuff like that. Potentially a submarine as well. As you guys seen in the first challenge, it was to dance on top of a submarine. And that submarine looked crashed, but once this thing starts to melt, maybe we can ride that submarine. And it's gonna be really cool. But anyway, Subnautica was the first free game on the Epic Games Launcher. So that was the entire Reddit post, guys. As you saw, there is a lot of stuff that's kind of far off and stuff that seems kind of legit, to be honest. But yeah, just having the week one challenge to be dancing on top of the submarine. So they're kind of paying, making you pay attention to having a crashed submarine on top of the entire icy mountain. Uh, then we have the melting that is definitely going to be happening. We have the flood team. Uh, we had the Leviathan and the shark suit guy, which were recently returning to the shop. As you guys know, this is the Leviathan skin and it is an underwater team. It has the fish head, it has the little rift because it was an old skin, but they did return it just to hint that the flood is coming. So you should get prepared and get the Leviathan skin. So we're probably, we got the shark skin as well. If you don't remember guys, this is the shark skin. And yeah, these are all summer themed and all water themed and all relate to melting and having a big flood happening in Fortnite this summer or actually spring. So possibly by the end of this season, we're definitely gonna be having a brand new event and it's gonna be kind of crazy to be honest. It's gonna be kind of crazy. So yeah, guys, this is it for today's news. I think that covers pretty much everything. We are gonna be getting a new event. This is most likely legit and it's gonna be the storyline between season seven and season eight. As you can see, we have the little sprays and stuff in the game already. And there is a lot of files leaked that have stuff related to melting. We have the melting leaked and usually the iceberg is supposed to melt every two weeks. So, so we'll, we'll see how they handle it because Christmas is going to be next week and that's going to be week three. So I doubt they would melt the iceberg on Christmas because it's Christmas and I don't even know why they started melting it so fast in the first place. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button. Let me know what is your best theory in the comments below. Do you think it's going to melt? Do you think... It's gonna flood the entire map because this water must go somewhere. And I'll see you next time for another video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.